Hi, my name is Paige Smith and I'm reporting from the Longfellow Bridge. In 2013, bridge construction began as a result of a Mass Department of Di Transportation distinction as structurally deficient. As a result, a massive rehaul was proposed and then initiated, which brings us here today. The newest development in the construction impacts red line service from Park Street to Kendall Square during the weekends, during which there will be a replacement of trains with shuttle bus buses during that time. The service disruption, which began on September 29th and will conclude on December 17th, impacts both Cambridge and Boston residents. We spoke to a key engineer with the project, as well as several Boston and Cambridge residents, to hear what they have to say about the project. Why are we doing this? Because uh, this bridge is, was deemed structurally deficient after the Minnesota bridge collapsed in 2009, I believe. The state rushed around, this all took an overview of every single bridge that we have in the state, and this was earmarked on the books since 09 to be done. Well, as we know, the T is a mess and dysfunctional on most days, but I think in this case they publicized it well beforehand and, and said which weekend the head of the Charles and Thanksgiving if it, if it would be affected. So I think they've done the best and I think it's it's probably something they had to do. Well, the service disruption I'm thinking is fine because it's all uh, being done for the longer term good, so I'm putting up with some of the disruption that is caused. And luckily, I just live at MGH and work in Kendall, so any disruption just means that my commute is going to be like maybe three or four minutes longer than it usually would be. I was kind of surprised that they were going to close it down on the weekend. You think that whatever they're doing on the weekend, they might be able to do in the evenings when, when people would do it. So it's not going to impact me personally. Uh, I just have to jump in an Uber, I guess. Well, I live at Central and I work here at MGH, so it's literally two stops away from me and I'm still affected by this weekend disruption happening right after Kendall. So it's just one stop, but I'm still pretty affected by it. I know it's only going on the weekend, so that's pretty helpful, but living off of the B line, which had construction over the summer for three weeks, now moving on to the red line, I am affected again by construction going on for like three months, so not the best move at MGH.